Uh oh. Hey, this is the mark of the beast. Just watch. No, you didn't. So the military made us get the ship in our wrist. Let me see where it puts. It's a little star right there. My husband doesn't believe me, so I'm gonna play with pay him my hand. No, you don't. Yes, I am. You have to have it in your wrist. What I can do is connect my debit card to it. You can pay. Waiting for your transaction to complete. What the fuck? Yes, you do. He does not believe me. That's why I'm recording. You don't believe me. Give me this. They've been here today. You ain't never tell me. Baby, wait, you missed the bag down here. They've been here. You don't understand how far technology is coming. So I already signed the paperwork. Nope. Yes, we're going to get one in our no, baby's wrist. But they can't get it until they're three years old. <laughs> hey, that's Mark the Beast. <laughs> it's not. It's not the Mark the Beast. You know what's funny? Everyone in the comments is like, Mark of the Beast system. Depart from me for I never knew you. Almost 8,000 likes. So she, they're basically saying, this is Amazon Pay. So they're basically saying, if you have Amazon Pay, then you have taken the mark of the beast. That's what some people are saying. And a lot of people agree. Another person said, no, that's the mark of the beast. That's not the mark of the beast. That's not the mark of the beast. You can't take the mark of the beast yet. It's not time yet. There's still more prophecy that needs to happen before we can take the mark of the beast. Not that any of us are going to take the mark of the beast anyway. We're not going to take the mark of the beast because we serve Jesus Christ. If you pledge your allegiance to the Antichrist, the Antichrist is going to, is going to demand that you take the mark of the beast. We are not at that point yet because the Antichrist is not here yet. So it is impossible at this point in time for us to be able to take the mark of the beast because the Antichrist is not here yet. But this is funny because so many Christians believe that this is a mark of the beast and that if you take this, then you're doomed. This is Amazon Pay. You know, Amazon Pay, they scan your palm, they link your palm to your debit card, and then you can hover your palm over your payment device and then it'll charge your debit card. That's Amazon Pay. If you're saying that the mark of the beast is Amazon pay, then there could be a strong argument that Apple pay is also the mark of the beast. Because what does what what, what does the scripture say? It says in your right hand or your forehead. How many Christians have Apple pay? How many times have you made a purchase on your phone? On the Internet, some type of e-commerce purchase where you have to double tap on the right hand side and then it does a face scan and then you make that purchase. It's scanning your face. Your forehead is on your face. I know it's kind of a reach. But we're making purchases with our forehead already. I don't see people saying, oh, this is the mark of the beast because we're making purchases scanning our forehead, scanning our face. But when it comes to Amazon Pay, people are saying that that is the mark of the beast. That's not the mark of the beast. There's a potential. There's a potential. That we're seeing the system and that we're seeing the foundation being laid. For the mark of the beast. But the Amazon pay stuff is not the mark of the beast. Now, it is interesting. We got all these companies. All of these companies are trying to, you know, pitch the idea to us that we should put a chip on our hand because it's safer. And in all honesty, this article is from 2019. It says a chip in my hand 
unlocks my house. Why does that scare people? In all honesty, if you were to put a chip in your hand, I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm just, it is what it is. If you put a chip in your hand, if that could replace your keys, if that could replace your credit card, your debit card, if that could re replace your key card, like your employee key card at your job, your access card, that would be a lot safer in theory than if you were to carry around those items with you on a daily basis because you're not going to lose your hand unless somebody chops off your hand. Nobody's going to rob you unless they literally chop off your hand and rob you, whereas with your keys or your wallet or your credit card, somebody could easily just run up and grab your purse and all your stuff is gone. So I see the push and I see why these companies are trying to move us in that direction. And in all honesty, I think we're going to move to that direction. It just makes sense. Like, we live in a society that wants more and more control over us. And they're not going to admit that. But they're going to give us a false sense of security. But in that false sense of security, they're going to be able to control us even deeper. And a lot of people are going to be like, yo, if it doesn't hurt that much, if it's, you know, minimally invasive, I could see a lot of people putting chips in their hands. I could see a lot of people replacing, you know, their cars, their car key or their, you know, house key by simply just putting like a chip in their hand. Because it would be safer from a theft standpoint, from a losing it standpoint. It would be more convenient because you always have your hand on you. Unless you don't have hands, then I apologize. But it would be more convenient. So I see the push why they're doing that. Would I ever do this? No. <laughs> I would never do this. I would never do it. Because I feel like I'm just giving up too much control. It's kind of like with me, I have this like love-hate relationship with electric cars. Because I think electric cars are super cool. But, bro... The control element. They could shut that off in an instant. But you know, also what as I'm as as I'm saying that, any car with a computer, they could shut off in an instant. But it's like, okay, what happens if the grid goes down? How are you gonna charge your car? At least with a gas powered car, I could store up some gas. I could keep some gas in my garage. And in case of an emergency, I could still fill up my car. At least to get some distance. I don't know. The mark of the beast. The recent breakthroughs in medical implant chip RFID technologies have increased interest in the mark of the beast spoken of in Revelation chapter 13. It is possible that the technology we are seeing today represents the beginning stages of what may eventually be used as the mark of the beast. It is important to realize that a medical implant chip is not the mark of the beast. <clears throat> the mark of the beast will, will be something given only to those who worship the antichrist. I don't know. There's like this, like, there's like this big fear amongst Christians, not all Christians, but some Christians. There's, there's a fear that they're, that they're accidentally going to take the mark of the beast. I don't think you're going to accidentally take the mark of the beast. I don't think you're going to accidentally worship the Antichrist. If you worship Jesus Christ, if your faith is in Jesus Christ, if you worship Jesus Christ, I don't think you're going to accidentally worship the antichrist because that would be the only way that you're going that you're going to take the mark of the beast because the antichrist is going to demand of his followers that they take the mark of the beast having a medical or financial micro microchip 
insert it into your right hand or forehead is not the mark, the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast will be an end times identification required by the Antichrist in order to buy or sell, and it will be given only to those who worship the Antichrist. Only to those who worship the Antichrist. Only to those who worship the Antichrist. This is what I'm talking about. Some people fear that they have already taken the mark of the beast. They may have blasphemed God at some point or made some impulsive statement of, a, of allegiance to the Antichrist. They may worry about the chip in their credit card. Others have been told that they act, that their act of worshiping the Lord on Sunday instead of the Sabbath constitutes accepting the mark of the beast. I never knew that theory. That's interesting. There is one significant reason why it is impossible to get the mark of the beast now. The mark of the beast does not exist yet. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're not at that point yet. The Antichrist is not here. Not yet. I mean, the way things are shaking, the way things are cooking up, the way the Bible is just accurately predicting everything that we're seeing right now from a current event standpoint, we're well on our way. We are well on our way. But we're not there just yet. Revelation 13. Then I saw another beast rising out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb and it spoke like a dragon. It exercises all the authority of the first beast in its presence and makes the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast. Whose mortal wound was healed. It performs great signs, even making fire come down from heaven to earth in front of people. And by the signs, that is, it is allowed to work in the presence of the beast. It deceives those who dwell on the earth, telling them to make an image for the beast that was wounded by the sword and yet lived. And it was allowed to give breath to the image of the beast so that the image of the beast might even speak and might cause those who would not worship the image of the beast to be slain. Also, it causes all both small and great, both rich and poor, both free and slave to be marked on the right hand or the forehead so that no one can buy or sell unless he has the mark, that is, the name of the beast or the number of its name. This calls, this calls for wisdom. Let the one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast. For it, for it is the number of a man And his number is 666. We also got to think about like the abomination of desolation. The abomination of desolation. That has to take place. That has to take place. Before we see the mark of the beast. The sacrilegious object Jesus called the abomination of of desolation could be the image of the beast that the Antichrist's right-hand man, the false prophet, will order to be set up and worshipped, Revelation 13, 14. Of course, for Matthew 24, 15, to be yet future, the temple in Jerusalem will have to be rebuilt before the tribulation begins. We're not there yet. Now, 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 we getting there. <laughs> we 
We definitely are getting there. Wasn't there just a headline? Um, hold on. There was just a headline. Hmm. Can't find it. Moral of the story is we ain't there yet. All right. So, I mean, don't trip. If you did the Amazon pay, you don't you didn't you didn't take the mark of the beast. You didn't take the mark of the beast. I personally would not get the Amazon pay cuz I'm just I'd rather just pay with my credit card or pay with cash or pay with my phone whatever. Um, but y'all need to stop in the comments talking about that this woman took the mark of the beast. Like she didn't take the mark of the beast. That's the moral of the story. And also the the primary moral of the story is worship Jesus and worship Jesus alone, solely, solely focus on your relationship with Jesus, focus on getting in the word, staying in the Bible, focus on praying and worshiping, focus on that. Because, you know, the ones who are going to take the mark of the beast are the ones who worship the Antichrist. I don't think that's any of us. Hopefully not. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think, like, if you're watching this, if you're listening to this, uh, I'm pretty sure you, you love you love the Lord. You love Jesus. I'm pretty sure your faith is in Jesus. I would hope. If not, put your faith in Jesus, please. Because just look around. Prophecy is coming to pass. It's coming to pass. Don't wait until it's too late. All right? But stop freaking out over the Mark of the Beast stuff because we're not there yet. But like it, like it said, the system is in the works. I think that's pretty clear. But the actual mark is not here yet. All right? Let me know what y'all think, man. Um, let me know if you think I got anything wrong in this video. If you have any correction for me. I'm open to it. Um, I want to know what y'all think. What, what, what are your opinions? Get in my comments, like this video. I'm out, y'all.